a uh, very uh, good afternoon students so last class we have been discussing about the reproductive organs now today uh, this class will be about uh, women health problems so all these problems are due to fluctuations in the reproductive hormones so the forthcoming class or this present class will deal with all sort of women health problems related to reproductive hormones so the first foremost problem is the endometriosis where the endometrium is the tissues that lines the inside of the uterus and when they grow outside the uterus it is called as endometriosis this tissues act like regular uterine tissues and uh, which just acts or behaves the same as during the periods so all these outgrown tissues will break apart and bleed at the end of the cycle so but this blood has no where to go so surrounding areas can be become inflamed or swollen or you might have scarred tissues and lesions endometriosis is most common on ovaries so this is endometriosis where you can see the endometrium layer which is which is lining the uterus it just grows outside the uterus outside the walls outside the uh, it is near the fallopian tube or it just grows in the ovaries so the most common uh, symptoms is uh, back pain severe menstrual cramps pain when pooping or peeing unusual or heavy bleeding during periods blood in the stool or urine diarrhea or constipation painful sex or fatigue that won't go away and trouble in getting pregnant and the next one is cervical cancer so it's a type of cancer that occurs in the cells of the cervix which is nothing but the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina so various strains of human papilloma virus it is nothing a uh, sexually transmitted uh, virus which plays a major role in causing the cervical cancer so when a uh, women has been exposed to human papilloma virus the body's immune system typically prevents the virus from doing or growing inside the uterus only a small percentage of the people which they can survive for many years and they contribute to porosis they cause some cervical cells into become a cancer so this is a picture which is, uh, shows you the growth of the cervical cancer stage by stage most common symptoms of cervical cancer is uh, the early stages cancer usually general uh, generally they don't produce any signs or symptoms only at uh, advanced or in later stages their symptoms will be exposed the vaginal bleeding after intercourse between periods or after menopause watery bloody vaginal discharge that can be heavy or can be have an full odor then pelvic pain or pale during intercourse the next uh, women health problem is polycystic ovary syndrome so as the name syndrome it's an hormonal uh, disorders that is most common among the reproductive ages of a women so women with this uh, polycystic ovary syndromes may have an infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods that is may be due to the excess of male hormone and progen the ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid especially the growth of the follicles and fails to regularly release the as i already said pcos is a syndrome or a group of symptoms that affects the ovaries and ovulation its three main features are cyst in the ovaries high level of male uh, hormone irregular or skipped periods so this is the polycystic ovary uh, syndrome so you can see an healthy ovary with a normal shape and in the another side polycystic ovaries where you can see numerous cyst formation in the ovaries see the most uh, common uh, signs of pco is irregular periods excess androgen polycystic ovaries and which contribute to enlarged or uh, high level of male hormones and excess facial or body hairs and acne and male pattern blurness baldness can also be there so here you can see the pcos syndrome where you can see the uh, different forms defective in the hair growth or ovarian cyst 
and low level of sex drive etc and the next next one is uh, uterine fibroids it is nothing but uh, fibroids or non cancerous growth of uterus that appears during child bearing years or reproductive years the uterine fibroids are big in lumps and grows on the uterus symptoms may include a heavy periods cramping painful sex and urge to urinate and the last one is uh, menopause the menopause is the stage or passing of the menstrual cycle or stopping of the menstrual cycle which is the end of the women's fertility it happens when the ovaries are no longer make estrogen and progesterone and the periods have start for one years so what happens is the signs will be uh, visible previously 4 to 8 years before itself uh, till they reach the menopause it includes a uh, hot flashes depression psychologically a uh, mood swings will be there and uh, many other associated with depressions